people over here. I'm really I'm really upset that it looks this bad. And she's not the only one who's noticed that San Diego's National Cemetery, Fort Rosecrans, is in a bad way. A 10 News viewer who went to services on Memorial Day told us she couldn't believe the shape Fort Rosecrans is in right now. Well, new at 6, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence not only found out why, but what will be done about it and when. As she has every Memorial Day, Carolyn Price came to pay her respects to a high school classmate. But when she saw the condition of the grass... I feel it is a dishonor to all the thousands of veterans. And she's not alone. Just, it's, it's appalling. It just looks horrible and it really upsets me that my dad is up here and it looks like this. It is so bad you can actually hear the grass crunch under your feet. We've since learned there's two reasons why. A realignment project has been underway to fix headstones, which have become uneven. There's also no watering in areas slated for realignment. The ocean view side of the cemetery looks a little better, but not by much. And this section has already had the headstones realigned. The cemetery is also going through an irrigation upgrade to an automatic system, but some of the valves in that new system have failed. We're caught in a catch-22 right now. There's certain areas due to the PVC ball valve failure that we had to shut off just to prevent any further damage. The water pressure from a failed valve, he said, would be catastrophic. So the system is off, which obviously doesn't sit well with visitors. Veteran cemeteries uh, just should not be this way. Our loved ones are here, and we'd like a nice place for them. And no one agrees with that more than cemetery director Mullet. We want to make sure that that cemetery is pristine and to National Shrine status, and it will be. Barring any other complications, he said it will be by August. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. In the interim, Mullen today just received approval to rent watering trucks and pay employees overtime to save as much of the grass as possible.